This is Larva of the Zofobus beetle and it's also happy to see you. After all, today it's not just a tasty snack for our banana eating Lilu. Today she is the main star of the video and it has one superhero ability. For four months now it has been feeding only on plastic and despite that it feels great and will soon turn into a pupa and then into a full grown beetle. After learning about what these larvae are capable of, we immediately went to the pet store and bought 300 of them. And now you'll see what happened next, and whether they can really help in the fight against plastic waste. The first thing sent for tasting to the larvae was a piece of regular foam weighing about 5 grams. If it ended up on land or in water, even at high temperatures, that piece would take decades to decompose. What can we say about cold regions, where the temperature on thermometers stays below zero for more than half the year? In that case, the foam won't go anywhere. Hundreds of years. And now, take a look at what our hungry larvae have turned this piece of foam into in less than two days. They burrowed into the foam like earthworms do in the ground, making tunnels for themselves as they ate it. After placing the foam back on the scale, we saw that it now weighed about 2 grams. So the larvae ate 3 grams of foam in 2 days. But to be honest, you rarely come across foam among regular trash. There, you'll probably find more familiar items lying around. Let's say, these are the trays from the stores that sell vegetables or chicken. These trays are always wrapped in plastic wrap, so for the sake of a complete experiment, we'll give that to them too. For the larvae to eat, And just a couple of hours later, it became clear that the larvae weren't turning their noses up at this food either. They started to slowly gnaw on the tray and bite the film. By the way, adult larvae bite very hard and can even pierce the skin sometimes. We knew this from the very beginning and tried not to stick our fingers in their mouths. After three days, the vegetable tray looked like this. And the plastic wrap took quite a beating too. And that's just in three days. Now this plastic won't last for decades or centuries. Decomposing in a landfill or somewhere in the ocean next to a box of instant noodles. By the way, we couldn't ignore that either and gave it to the larvae. Along with the lid, with packaging film and spice packets. And to add some juiciness to this crunchy trash, we lightly sprayed it with water. For some reason, for the first week, the larvae didn't want to have anything to do with it at all. There were no signs of their teeth on the box. We thought the box was made of a material. The larvae couldn't eat. We left it in the container and later saw larvae had chewed a trench at the top. Days later, the larvae gnawed the entire inner surface. The box had a small trench. And just a couple of days later, the entire inner surface of the box was gnawed by the larvae. We were sure that they would stop there. And how surprised were we when we found out that the larvae had chewed through and made a couple of holes even in the plastic lid. It's quite thick and rigid. When did we find out that the larvae had chewed through and made a couple of holes even in the plastic lid? It's quite thick and rigid. The box itself, by the way, has a dense smooth shell on the outside and it also couldn't withstand our larvae. And they would have finished the job if we hadn't taken the noodle box out and tried it. Give the larvae the next type of waste Recently, there have been just as many medical masks in the trash as there are plastic bags or packaging. And we gave the larvae one very simple mask along with a sponge for washing dishes and a piece of crumpled polyethylene. For some reason, the larvae didn't touch the sponge for washing dishes at all even though they had nibbled on it a bit before. A piece, it seemed like the same kind of foam. The piece of polyethylene also didn't attract much attention from our larvae. And here's what happened to the mask. They definitely won't let her into the store now. The inner white layer was almost completely eaten away, and in the denser outer layer, the larvae chewed several large holes. But can these larvae really help in the fight against plastic waste? They eat foam, polyethylene food wrap, and even thicker plastic bags. Actually, it's not quite that good. It seems that one thing is to eat plastic, and quite another is to recycle it. It turned out that before us, the abilities of these larvae were discovered by scientists from Yakutsk, and according to their analyses, the bacteria inside the Zoophobus larvae can break down plastics into safe substances. Not just any plastic, but only polystyrene. So that's exactly the kind of foam like the boxes from instant noodles or the packaging inserts for food. 
They can feed on it for as long as they want. But polyethylene bags and everything else unfortunately just gets ground up and exits the larvae's bodies with the same chemical composition. The fact that a living organism can absorb nutrients from at least some type of plastic is already really cool. They leave behind droppings that look like large grains of sand. That's already really awesome. They leave behind droppings that look like large grains of sand. Agree, this looks much better than huge chunks of styrofoam somewhere on the beach. While filming, we collected trays from the supermarket and didn't trash them. We bought more larvae, added them to the container and gave them the trays. Now five fewer styrofoam pieces exist. After three weeks, the trays were nearly destroyed. And now there will be five fewer pieces of styrofoam in the world. After three weeks, the trays were almost completely destroyed. Two of them were eaten about 70% and the others a little less. And we, of course, didn't give the larvae any other food. We just regularly sprayed the trays with water so our pets could drink. But is everything okay with them now? Four months? Eating plastic waste is probably not very healthy. Will these larvae be able to turn into beetles now? To check this, we selected one of them and placed it separately from the others. The mealworm larvae can only start transforming into a beetle when they are alone. Over time it started moving less and eventually froze on its side. In this position, the transformation into a pupa takes about a month at a temperature of around 30 degrees. And when the metamorphosis process is complete, the larva simply sheds its old skin. And a pupa like this emerges, which already looks much more like a beetle. For about another week, the pupa completes some internal processes, becoming darker each day. And at one moment, literally in 20 minutes, it sheds its skin for the last time, spreading its wings and freeing its body from the old shell. And here it is, the newborn beetle, from a larva that spent most of its life eating only plastic. He still doesn't understand what happened, and his body is still white. The next day the beetle starts to darken and first turns brown, and then becomes a fully black beetle. By the way, we didn't feed the beetle plastic, we gave it a proper piece. Potatoes. And yes, we sent all the beetles we got to live in our huge terrarium. But that's a whole different story. Give us a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And then there will be even more videos like this.